Hi, I'm John Papa. And I'm Brian Clark. And today we're going to build and deploy an Azure function with you. And they're really good for spinning up APIs quickly that we can leverage in our web apps. Absolutely. So let's go build one together. We'll go into the portal and click New, and then we'll look for Function Apps. Once we find that, we'll create a new one. And then we'll name the Function App. We'll call it My New Function. And we'll keep all the defaults, but we'll also check Pin to Dashboard so we can easily find it once it's been created and deployed. Now once it's there, it'll appear on the dashboard. We can see it here in progress. And then once Azure's deployed it, it'll go right to that function app for us so we can begin creating the piece that we need. Great, it's been deployed. Now we can go into the function by clicking on functions over here and then click on new function inside there. So we have a function app that's going to have a function in it. We'll filter down by JavaScript because that's the language you want and we'll select HTTP trigger. We'll give it a better name like heroes. And we'll make the authorization level be anonymous. And then we'll change the contents of the function in here to just simply return a list of heroes. So we'll do a little copy paste and we'll put in there a response of Mr. Hero, Miss Super, Kid Power, and Status. We'll save it and run it. And then we can see the results right here in the portal. Well, that's not super helpful because we want to hit it from an external site. So we're going to click on Get Function URL. We'll copy that URL. And then we'll go over to Postman, which allows us to hit a URL from anywhere. And then we can click on Send. And we can see the results of our function right here. And that's it. We've created our first function. If you'd like to try this, click on the link above.